Finally, in this section, we will elaborate on three important performance tests for your stability chamber. Oswald suggests these tests to ensure that your equipment is installed correctly. We recommend that you conduct these tests after maintenance or repairs work is carried out on the equipment. We start with test 1. This test is conducted to confirm and establish that the refrigeration system and electrical parts of the stability chamber are functioning. Firstly, set the temperature controller to 15 degrees Celsius. Set the humidity controller to 0% or its minimum value. The safety controller can be set to any temperature higher than the set value. Start the equipment. Observe that the temperature will drop from its present value, which is cl close to room temperature, to the set value of 15 degrees Celsius. The total time taken to achieve 15 degrees Celsius should not exceed 45 minutes. If the temperature is achieved within the stated time, it means that the refrigeration system is okay. Moving on to the second test. This test is conducted to confirm and establish that the temperature system and the humidity system of the stability chamber, including all their associated components, are functioning normally. Firstly, set the temperature controller to 25 degrees Celsius. Set the humidity controller to 60%. Set the safety controller to 29 degrees Celsius. Once started, allow the equipment to stabilize, which may take an hour or more. Observe that the temperature will drop from its present value, which is again close to room temperature, to the set value of 25 degrees Celsius. Observe that the humidity will rise from its present value to the set value of 60%. On achieving the set temperature and humidity, the equipment should continue to maintain these levels within the specified bandwidth of plus minus 1 degree Celsius and plus minus 5% RH. Allow the equipment to run for a period of 3 hours. If this is achieved and maintained, as indicated above, it means that the temperature system and the humidity system is functioning okay. And finally, the third test. This test is to confirm and establish that the temperature sensor and humidity sensors of the stability chamber are functioning normally. So firstly, set the temperature controller to 0 degree Celsius or its minimum value. Set the humidity controller to 0% or its minimum value. Switch off the refrigeration system. Keep the doors, the main door and the inner glass door wide open. Allow the equipment to run in this condition for 30 minutes. You will observe that the temperature and humidity controllers indicate the same value as the temperature and humidity existing in the room. With the help of a temperature or humidity thermometer, you can determine the actual conditions in the room and verify if the Oswald Stability Chamber controllers 